Try one more time. Speak. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. No, I don't no, think so still. Think okay, so. there's like fantastic things going on down there. They're like changing lines of code and all sorts of wonderful <laughs> stuff. Uh, okay, still <laughs> waiting, sure. still waiting, still waiting. <laughs> this is like live TV. Okay, you have, you have to keep I, talking. I, I keep trying. Yeah, yeah, keep Just saying trying. hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> hello. Ah, not ah not brilliant. Not okay, so my only job is to get every people out of the room, get people into the room, and get all the microphones working. So now okay. that my job is done, uh, I'm going to hand it over to Regina. Big round of applause, please, for Regina. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here today, and I hope that uh, we have a very short session, 30 minutes, but I hope that we all come back home with something new or something to think about. Um, we are in the Investor's Den, as you all know, and uh, the title is going to be The Real Value Beyond Money. So, beyond money on this process of investment in this ecosystem of startups and investors, uh, what is there beyond money? Okay, so we're going to try to explain in this ecosystem how we share things, how we collaborate among us, and how this brings uh, other values besides money. So the tags that we probably will be needing for you to understand or we will explain along is going to be seed or early stage capital, women angels, women entrepreneurs, access to capital, mm -hmm. STEM and STEAM, the A for arts and architecture, and profitability. I think that probably all of you know these vocabularies. So I don't think we have to go over that. But mm -hmm. what is it that is interesting is that we know we have time restriction. This is like going to be like a pill, you know, a short pill, okay, to motivate your curiosity and learning uh, possibilities for understanding how this network and uh, sharing with the investors and startup ecosystem can generate and build value beyond money. And for that, we're going to be contextualizing with one of the business angels groups, Women Angels for STEAM, of which I belong and some of us do. And uh, we hope that this is going to be interesting. Four provoking statistics to start with. Women entrepreneurs, access to capital. So we know women founders get less than 2% in the US and less than 7% of all the venture capital money uh, compared to men. So that's a shame. <laughs> Second statistic. <laughs> Help in a way that capital access is amicable for women. So that's why women angels play a role, and that's why we have to increase women angels, and Spain has only 8% of women in the business angels community, so that also is a shame. Reasons to invest, women that startups profitability, as you all know, the latest uh, period uh, um, report of 2018 from Boston Consulting Group uh, gives you 10% of more revenues in an, over a five-year period on the statistics they did. So that is really impressive. Uh, there are other uh, uh, IOT uh, uh, reports uh, where the range is not so precise. It can reach from 5 to 85%, depending on the starting point of the level of percentage of women in that labor structure of that company. But understanding that this is an average and it's just a, a statistic, uh, it's very, very relevant because it means that it is profitable to invest in women and it is a shame that we're not doing that, okay? Reasons to worry. Women in STEM are diminishing. A statistic from the 80s, we have 37% of women involved in engineering careers and they have gone down to 12% today. So we have to do something about that. So with those stats, I want to start. Uh, we have here experts on various roles as agents in this ecosystem that have gained entity in their own and are generating this value. It is collaborative ecosystem and I will allow myself one minute and one line for each one of them. And then they will have a half a minute Okay, where's the clock? <laughs> Over there, okay. I have a minute to introduce themselves, highlighting whatever they want, so at will, okay? So let's start. Uh, Deborah, to my left, Alas Raki, she's an architect, an MBA. She started as a CEO, the company uh, 3D Click, entrepreneur engaging within the ecosystem. 
Then we have Marta Widobro over there. Marta is an economist and an MBA and as an investor in different early stage investment networks, in particular Women Angels for STEAM, the example that we're bringing today, but also Pinama 17 and Cupido uh, Capital. We have Sylvie Lemaire, right on the left, my left, your right. Uh, she has a master of ESSCA and management and is a learning business expedition expert. And she's promoting trade exchange between Spain and France and she is also the vice president of Women Angels for STEAM and founder. And Nacho Ormeño is the CEO and founder of our startup explore, which is one of the most active crowdfunding <coughs> uh, infrastructures in Spain, with whom we have collaborated, and I think it's going to be very interesting, the trilogy of Deborah and uh, CD <coughs> and Nacho explaining this ecosystem, how did it work, because it really worked beautifully. So he has a master in computer science, he's a computer science engineer, and uh, has raised and invested in those startups in that startup explore over 6.5 million euros. So that's quite a lot. And uh, Jose Martin Caviedes, that uh, I, he doesn't need any introduction. I mean, he's a very well known investor in the Spanish community. Just for the foreigners, he's just like God here. Okay. <laughs> I'm a business school professor. That's so, why I'm here. But, he, but he's, he, he's here as a business school, a YESE business school, as a professor representing YESE here. And he's an electrical engineer, industrial organization of ICAI, Pontificial University of Comillas. He's a lecturer, entrepreneur, YESE business school, and associate, associate in Caviedes and Partner. He's a trustee in As Lo Posible, and he's a member of the BOD Europa Press. So I think we have a very interesting mm -hmm. panel this afternoon. And uh, I will let them introduce themselves with whatever they want to highlight, and then I will start with the questions. After the questions, <coughs> we're going to try to do this trilogy on Sorry. the startup, uh, women angels investment, and the crowdfunding, how this worked out very nicely. And uh, also, Deborah is interesting because she's cross frontiers, cross boundary. Mm -hmm. a receptor of investment. Here we have one of her investors in Holland, Annegin, <laughs> who is present here. Yeah. And so I think that <coughs> will be an interesting discussion. And then we leave the last five to eight this minutes for questions of the audience. So let's hope that we can fit all that in. So come on, in this order, I think it will be okay. more interesting and easier. <laughs> well, hello, I'm Deborah, CEO from 3D Click, and we are an online platform for the packaging ecosystem. So we have digitized the whole packaging design process so that uh, so packaging suppliers, brands, and designers can, can design packages virtually from anywhere in the world in a very easy way with no 3D expertise and in real time. And that's the basics in order to go to our region, which is to lead the whole sustainable packaging ecosystem. That's it. <laughs> Um, well, certainly I'm not God by any means. Uh, I'm a business school <laughs> professor. I teach entrepreneurship at ESE. And uh, I happen to be also a, 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 an investor which, uh, which has more than 20 years track record in, in investing in this. And um, basically, for the sake of today's discussion, a couple of, of points. I have mixed feelings regarding the issue of value behind, uh, behind money. I have some strong doubts that uh, professional investors do provide any value be uh, beyond the money. We are investors, we are not mentors, we are not psychologists, we are nothing, we are just investors, and we want our money back. So that's, uh, in, that, in that sense, we are not much engaged in anything else rather than that. That being said, as a business angel, which I have been for quite a while, I'm actually going back to, to being a, a business angel, in that stage, yes, we do provide some sort of uh, support and mentoring. And in doing that, business school networks and business angel networks do provide that value. So those mixed feelings have to do with basically the stage of development. I understand uh, that VCs need to invest in, in entrepreneurs that do not need anything else than uh, their own money. They're not going to get much less, that, much more than that. So that, those are my strong feelings. The second point regarding the strong feelings is this issue about investing in women. I mean, we all know those figures and certainly they are very real. But that, that's not necessarily the case. Uh, se seven out of 17 of my latest investments are headed by women. And I have not invested in them because of being women. I have invested in them because of being great entrepreneurs. I make no difference in terms of being women or men. So I don't really understand all this fuss about investing in women, women, women. Let's invest in outstanding entrepreneurs. And that's it. Yeah. 
Hi, my name is uh, Nacho Ormeño. I'm the CEO of Startup Explorer, uh, one of the biggest uh, startups and investors uh, community in Spain, and also an equity crowdfunding platform that we deploy uh, 6.5 uh, million euros uh, in the last uh, three years. And uh, well, regarding the discussion, uh, I think that uh, there is a, a value beyond the money um, because there are people that not only uh, invest uh, looking for uh, return of the investment, uh, instead they invest uh, looking for uh, give uh, feedback and, and uh, close the loop. Uh, across the, their own experiences uh, and, and give the entrepreneur uh, support and, and, and learn uh, over the, the, the shoulders of the entrepreneur. So uh, there is a mix. Uh, when, when you're dealing with a large community of, of investors, uh, that, uh, there is no unique point of view uh, uh, regarding this topic. OK. Well, I just started two years ago to be a business engine. In fact, I took a, a, a course, given my yes, uh, Jose was, was one of the, my teachers, and it was a course uh, uh, funded by the, uh, um, the uh, European Union in order to, to encourage women to invest. So uh, I thought it was a, a good idea to give back to society in an easy way. And then I started to go to pitches and, uh, and joined the first uh, investment group. And um, I just uh, became uh, passionate by this. It's, uh, it's true that we give money, um, something, something else we will discuss later. But I think that we, what we receive from uh, the, the startups, the learning of the market, what is going on in society, the brilliant people that we, you met is so um, enrichable that, uh, yeah, I think that just for that it would be good to invest and become a business <coughs> angel if uh, any of you are not in business angel, I encourage you to do so. As Regina said, I'm, I'm an expert in organizing learning expeditions and I would say that being a business angel and a co-creator of an all-women business angel association, it's a learning journey with fun, with a lot of experiences, and also that feeling of creating impact. Impact because we are choosing a kind of, uh, I would say, activities that have not really a social impact, but always a good impact. And also because we are creating the um, atmosphere for the women entrepreneurs to present their projects in a friendly environment. So I would encourage, I know if you, there are business angels in the room and women business angels, but I really encourage you to uh, talk to us and to, uh, to go to our website and, and see the nice startups we have in our portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> so, so following uh, Sylvie, just for statistics here in the room, how many of you are business angels? Okay. How many of you are investors in general in capital venture or er, later stages of investment okay and how many of you are entrepreneurs who are wow. seeking for <laughs> investors okay and how many of you are just curious <laughs> okay, good. All right. So it's quite balanced, okay, with a majority of entrepreneurs that are here uh, seeking probably for some answers to some of the questions and where do I get the money, how do I get the support and things like that. So most of the, 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 the thought about this panel was oriented towards early stage investment. You know, business angels environment and how this uh, interaction with the uh, community exists, how um, ESE has been instrumental in training us with European Union community so that there were some new business angels women created in Spain because there was very little of that and Europe is very, very concerned that there are no business angels in the statistics of Europe, okay? Uh, it's logical, we're not going to enter into the reasons, it's quite logical, usually the, the, the population comes from ex-corporate directors or ex-entrepreneurs successful, so these are the people that usually come in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the population of, of uh, 
business angels. So there are not that many women in corporate direction, and there are not that many women that are successful entrepreneurs so far in the areas that uh, we are thinking about, which is technology, and we want to promote that. So having said that, I'm going to start giving this wonderful panel a question, each one of them, and then starting the experience of this uh, entrepreneur, uh, Deborah, uh, later on. Okay, so let me start with uh, Jose. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what has been the role of ESE Investment Forum at Alumina, of the Alumina that has been helping in scouting process of new entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. And what other important lessons you can share from your vast experience with us? Okay, well, first of all, ESA uh, put together the oldest uh, business angel network and, and family mm -hmm. office network in the country. Uh, we have already had more than 150 uh, gatherings of investors and entrepreneurs. Typically, it's on a monthly basis where we call in uh, six to ten entrepreneurs, not necessarily uh, ES alumni by any means. I mean, it's pretty open. And we have gathered uh, a group of uh, just around 200 uh, investors in uh, providing them a link to the, to the entrepreneurs. So our focus in ES has been more on fostering the, invest the investors and educating the investors rather than uh, fostering entrepreneurship, because as a business school, we already had enough, enough entrepreneurs to uh, kind of, of uh, show around. So we have been doing this for probably already more than 10 years. I don't really remember, but 150 uh, meetings altogether. So that, that's, that, that has been quite helpful. I think nowadays is still probably one of the most active uh, business angel networks. We, we have done more than 50 investments in, in, a, in, a, in several companies. Um, that, that is one role. The other role is in, at the classroom uh, itself, where we obviously we foster entrepreneurship from a very, I would say, responsible uh, standpoint, both uh, in terms of societal uh, or society responsibility and also uh, capital efficiency and, and capital respect which we tend to miss in, in some other environments. So we, we put an emphasis on that as a differentiation element. Um, in terms of fostering uh, women entrepreneurship, uh, we have again taken the route of uh, uh, fostering the investment. And uh, I think we were probably the first uh, school to establish a, a, a course on how to become a business angel uh, only devoted for women, uh, which I had the pleasure to, to, to teach a couple of sessions. And uh, I think out of that, uh, I think we already three, uh, three uh, cohorts uh, already have passed through the, this course. Uh, from the first cohort, we, had, we see here a, a fantastic example, which is Women for STEAM. They're doing a terrific job. And um, I hope we have uh, helped create a network of uh, business angel uh, from a women's standpoint. It is true. I think there is more uh, demand for women investors than for women entrepreneurs. That's my view. Uh, and I think there is a lot of, uh, a lot of money and, and, and knowledge to be provided by women investors. So again, no difference between being a man or a, or a woman from a, a business angel standpoint. That's, that has been our role. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, we can give credit that it's a great organization and the ESA has helped uh, all of us and consolidating the capacity of, of building such organizations for, for helping women in their entrepreneurships. So Sylvie, um, I'm going to go now with you. What has been the journey for creating Women Angels for STEAM as Women Angels Association? And as a telegraphic introduction, uh, as a preview, because Sylvie tomorrow has an event that she's going to be explaining in more detail in half an hour time only the Women Angels for STEAM organization. So just give us a preview, as a, like a, a good advertisement so that all of these people tomorrow want to come and listen to you. Yeah. Tomorrow I will present in a four uh, part the, uh, our model that's quite unique. There are similar mo associations, organizations, but none is, is exactly the same like us. I will explain our origin at the ESA, I will say it. I will explain our factors of success, and then how we work. We have a very clear corporate governance, and also very clear criteria for the startups to qualify. And then I will uh, just make a call to uh, more women business angels. And I would say the factors of success that are that we are really aligned. We are threefold goals that are having more women business angels, creating a more friendly access to finance 
for women, and the third one is to having more women in tech to get a more inclusive world. Any question you have? That's fine. So, whatever you want to learn more, eh? come tomorrow. And for those who can't <laughs> come tomorrow, I'm very sorry, we have also a solution. We have a very, very good website where you have all the explanations of how we work, who we are, because we also have the profiles of the business angels. And also, we are quite proud to say that, pride to say that we grow from 32 co founders to 85 business angels right now. It's a fast growth in less than a year. So good uh, for explaining that. So uh, Deborah, I will go to you. Yeah. Uh, what has been your experience as a startup being invested in by members of our panel, mm -hmm. okay, as well as your cross-border experience with Spain and the Netherlands? Mm -hmm. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, we have been founded by, by Women for Steam, by Startup Explore, and by business angels in the Netherlands. And the, and the experience was actually great within so the round, after the round, and now, right now also in the follow-up, in the second round. It was great, but also very tough, I would say, because um, we were leading with two countries, with two languages, with two cultures, with two legalities, with two fiscalities. So it was um, time-consuming, energy-consuming, and resource-consuming. So it was really... Um, but actually, it was not, we did it consciously. So we wanted, we, we really wanted to look not only for money but, that we needed, but for smart money. We, we, want, we, were, we were looking for strategic partnerships in two fields, uh, in technology background and software development, and in, because we are a tech company, and in, in commercialization and business network in Spain and in the Netherlands. That's where we operate. And that's why we thought, okay, let's do the effort for two things, no? Also to help us enter the two markets. And that's how we started, first in the Netherlands. Uh, the first business angel is here, which is Anichien. She was a mentor of, of 3D Click in the Startup Bootcamp Accelerator in Amsterdam, where we were. And she helped us to bring other strategic business angels from the Netherlands. In parallel, we, well, she's expert in investor relations, so it's her thing. <laughs> and in parallel, uh, I went here and I had the opportunity through Yese to pitch in an investment forum. And that was the opportunity to get to know Regina and Sylvie. And there, in the, next, in the first meetings, I already know, I knew it. I don't know if they knew it, but I wanted them as a partner because uh, their background in technology is incredible. Artificial intelligence, software, whatever you, you, you dream. That's Regina. <laughs> and, then, and then Sylvie, expert in growth and, 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 and business strategy. And all the, the, um, all the associated, they, can, they have so a big network, with so a big know-how, so that it, it, is, it is the way to, to, if you have a problem or you, have a, or you want a contact, you can ask them and you get it, no? And then, so we, we were in parallel, building up these two lead investors. And then we were, we are very convinced of crowdfunding. We started our company with a crowdfunding campaign in the United States, imagine. So <laughs> And we wanted, to, we wanted to do it through a crowdfunding platform. Mm -hmm. And then we get in contact with Start Explore. Why is Start Explore? Because uh, we, we got contact with investors, and they were in Start Explore. And I talked to a couple of, of startups, and they were super happy too. And, and I said, okay, then let's know them and hope that they accept us. So they accepted us, super. And it was a, a super good decision because it was the way to put everybody in the same platform, legally to do the same due diligence, to have credibility also uh, internationally, and to do the whole process, which is long and tough, and you don't want to go through it <laughs> until the end. So it was a, a, a very good um, speeding up uh, platform that we closed it in 11 hours. So it was really, really fast. Thank you, Deborah. Sorry. We'll go to, to <laughs> ask uh, finally. Um, well, we need, we have Nacho and Marta, right? And they're no. telling me that we only have one minute. I think that the clock didn't start at the right moment. I think that we entered <laughs> Negotiating. Late. So I would like to know what's the, what is the difference. No, no, what is the difference? 
because we have 30 minutes. I just want to know what is the time delay. When did it start? Because I'm sure that we haven't gone through 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 So then I think that we close the session, ladies and gentlemen, because there's only 22 seconds. Okay. And I think that we didn't enter on time, which was entering here at 4:45. And so we are finishing at 5.15 without having had the time that we needed. So I'm really sorry about that. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, oh. 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 oh.